Hi, my name is Ryan Santos, and I'll be demonstrating the work that I've done with the Festo Modular Processing System. The Modular Processing System is broken up into different modules, and each module is uh, controlled by a PLC, as you can see here. Now, the type of PLC that we're using is the Allen Bradley Compact Lodge L32E. Now, the L32E is the member of the Logix 5000 family. What I have here is a sample of the PLC setup. And as you can see here, you've got the PLC processor, you've got the Ethernet outlet, you've got the uh, serial, and you've got the power and input and output module. Now, being from the Logix 5000 family, this PLC is controlled and is programmed using an RS Logix 5000. So, this is a sample of the RS Logix 5000. It's uh, currently, currently online with the uh, distribution station. And as you can see, things are currently happening there at the moment. So what the process does is it processes these blocks and uh, these blocks are fed into the distribution system, as you can see. And then from the distribution system, what happens is the distribution uh, system picks up these blocks and then sends it over to the uh, separation station. Now, what the separation station does is it has a distance sensor here which identifies what type of blocks they are, either deep or shallow. Now, the shallow, shallow blocks are sent over to station number four, which is going in that direction, and the deep blocks are sent over to station number three, which is going in this direction, as you can see. And now, to talk a little bit about station number three, what this is is basically like a processing station, and what it does is, um, yeah, it just does a series of actions. So, what you, this guy here, you've got a proofer, this guy here is a drill, and what you have here is like a, uh, is a pusher which um, pushes the blocks to the next station, which is the robot station. From station number three, we're moving on to station number four, which is the handling station. Now, the function of this station is to do two things, which is one, to transport the blocks from station number three downstream to the pick and place, but the other function is to separate the blocks based on color. Now, what you can see here on the gripper is that there's a color sensor here, and that color sensor senses the blocks and decides whether or not they're black or not black. Black blocks are, are rejected down this slide, and the non-black blocks make it down to the downstream station, which is pick and place. On pick and place, what happens is that these caps are picked up and, and placed on top of the block. And then from there, it is sent down to the next uh, station, which is the fluid muscle press. And in the fluid muscle press, what happens is that cap is pressed down onto the block and then sent downstream to the sorting station. Now, the function of the sorting station is to sort the blocks based on color and then send it down to the corresponding slide. And for the purpose of demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send in a different color. And as you can see, the black, and it identifies it to be black, and then it sends it down to the black slide. So all the stations are networked together uh, using these blue cables, and uh, they're all connected to their ethernet ports, and they're all then from there connected to routers and a switch, and then from there, there's gonna be a crossover cable from the router, and then leading up over to our control panels over there. This is a sample of the HMI. The types of HMIs that we're using are the Allen Bradley Panel View Plus 1500s. And basically what I do is I create a, a HMI screen for each one of these stations. And I've also created like a control panel and a, um, and a, and a menu and a navigation screen where you can see here. And, uh, and what I've done is I've 
is I've created all of the all of the screens onto one single program and then downloaded each of those programs into a series of screens and as you can see what I've now created is more of like a control room environment so what um, what uh, how this works is you can you can go to a control panel where you can basically stop and reset and start all of the stations from a control room environment and you can also go to each of different stations and you can scan between between stations or you can just go back go back to back to the station or jump between stations as so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one over to the sorting station and bring this one to the one downstream of that and this one upstream this one is going upstream this one is the separation station and this one's the distribution station and as you can see from the distribution station and um, you can control the distribution station from this particular screen as you can see you can start you can start and then um, you can uh, start it again and so the process is now starting and what's happening now is that the uh, swivel is working it's just uh, one of the boxes has been pushed out and the swivel has just picked it up and I uh, send it over to the next station which is the separation station We're now at the separation station and uh, as I've mentioned before what happens is that um, blocks are stopped over here, it just sends the block and then when that opens it directs it over to the uh, correct direction and so that's been sent over to the processing station and um, more blocks are then sent over to the uh, handling station, probably this one, yep there it is, some to the handling station. We're now at the handling station and as you can see the uh, crane is just coming down. It's just uh, picked up a block, it's identified to be a black block and then it is now going to direct that block to the uh, reject slide. It's now also sensed another block and this is just waiting for the uh, gripper to come back and then we'll see what that will, uh, what color that will be. So it's just sensed that to be a not black block and that should send it downstream over to the next station which is pick and place. So we're now at pick and place and as you can see the uh, it's now just bring a cap and then it's uh, pick and place now just drop the cap off and returning to its initial position it's currently stopped the uh, stop is just opened up and then the block is then sent downstream over to the fluid muscle press. So we're now at the fluid muscle press. We'll see if we can get a uh, few blocks here. It's just it's just returning now to pick up another uh, item. As you can see, it just picked up a block. It just comes down over to the press, and then the press now just presses down onto the cap and then it's sending the cap and block over to downstream and down to the sorting station.
and we're just here at the sorting station and as you can see what's happening is that the uh, stopper is currently activated and it's waiting for a block to come in it's just sensed the block and then uh, so it's now identifying the color it has identified it to be orange and now it's just sending it down to the corresponding slide. So this is the processing station and as you can see what happens is that um, if this is the turntable, the, uh, this is the proofing, and this is the drill, and then this is the pusher. So uh, part was just sensed, the uh, turntable is currently moving, and then the proofing, it's just drilled, and the drill is, goes back to the upward position, and then uh, part was pushed out. And that concludes part one of my automation films, and if you're interested in some details regarding the PLC development and HMI development, just follow the links and happy viewing.